Shonda Henry here, aka Sister Sense, with the Success Series, here to give you your dose of daily direction. So, I've been quiet, admittedly so, but sometimes you have to be quiet so that your business can grow. Seriously, that is the focus conversation of our conversation today, how this quiet social introvert makes noise, makes money, and attracts attention. So first, we're going to talk about money and attention and and all the things that you need to do (laughs) in your web business based on some of the things that I'm doing in mind. I'm going to share with you a few numbers, 15, 30, 17, 47. Okay, no, we're not going to play the lotto. Okay, (laughs) we're not about to go play the lotto. Um, But these numbers mean something to me and hopefully they'll mean something to you in just a second. Um... You know, it's funny because over the last week or so, I guess people have really been noticing how quiet I've become. Um, A few of my clients, you know, they messaged me and I I love my ladies, by the way, in my power circle um, and said, you know what, LaShonda, you've been quiet. You okay? What's going on? (laughs) I haven't heard from you. I just kind of want to check in. Make sure you're still breathing. And of course, you know, I'm like, yeah, girl, I'm still breathing. I'm working on my master plan. I'm making things happen in the background. 15, 30, 17, 47. I'm going to explain these numbers to you, and hopefully I do it in a way that makes sense, but allows you to kind of put that light bulb over your head and turn it on with respect to smart things that you can do to maximize your business, to market, and really make sense of this thing called making money online. All right, so first thing is... 15. A few months back, I had the pleasure of hosting a web class on live stream, and I talked about how to fix your funds as a business owner. So um, I talked to women entrepreneurs in my circle who hate to sell, and I said, listen, if you hate to sell, if your business is barely surviving and you're trying to, in so many ways, figure out how to make it thrive, but it's barely in survive mode, let's talk about 15 things messing with your money, okay? Um, fabulous web class. I actually hosted several during that time period um, because I strategically at times will go on and I'll do the live stream thing, the Facebook, the Periscope, the Instagram, all that stuff, right? I'll be here. I'll be there. I'll be (laughs) superwoman, social superwoman. Um, But I'm going to be honest with you. Social superwoman is not my character. I am by nature a social introvert, right? I want to be that person who lives in my purpose and shares and teaches and helps everyone across the globe. But at the same time, I'm naturally an introvert. So I would prefer to sit in the corner with my iPad (laughs) in a quiet space. Um, And I laugh about it because my hubby is like, I hate the fact that you love so much being alone. Like I seriously enjoy my company to the degree that I'm just like, okay, yeah, when are you guys leaving? (laughs) Let me just be me for a second. Um, But at the same time, as a social introvert, which for some people is kind of like an oxymoron, right? But it, it, it exists. There, there are so many things about me that's social. I'm a Gemini. We love to be social and talk, and we love to be social activists and help others. But at the same time, again, that introvert nature is there. So I say that to be clear about the fact that, um, you know, some of this, while it may seem, whether it be audio or video, live streaming, that it just comes naturally to me in my nature, it's not what I would prefer to do. (laughs) I love you, but I would love to just sit in the corner and be quiet for most times. If you're a social introvert or if you're somebody who feels that you don't always want to be live, it can be overwhelming to really take advantage of social media and building your brand online um, because you find yourself either holding yourself back or you find yourself like dragging your feet to do the things that you're like, okay, I know, I get it. I got a live stream. I got to get, <laughs> I got to do video. I have to do a Twitter chat. I know I got to do this stuff. I just don't want to, right? Um, I strategically do these things. And again, I'm going to share with you how I do these things via these numbers. So, like I said, a few months ago, I did uh, my fabulous training, 15 Things Messing With Your Money. It hit a lot of women in the, in the gut, um, really kind of shook them up, opened their eyes to some things that needed to change um, if they wanted to change their life and their business. Um, and so I said, you know what? 
Um, I want to do two things. Number one, I want to make sure that I could share this with others. But number two, I want to make sure that I'm consistent in sharing my best online, even without having to do all the social stuff every single minute of every single day. And sometimes it feels like that's what everybody else is doing, right? Sometimes doesn't it feel like that? Raise your hand. Doesn't it feel like sometimes that you're behind and everybody else is propelling forward and they're just like throwing a whole bunch of great stuff out socially and you're like, but that's not me, right? So you feel bad. Simultaneously, you love what they're doing, but it makes you feel bad about the fact that you're not doing enough, or at least that's what you think. Because sometimes perfect perception um, and the perception that everybody else is perfect and you're not can be really difficult, difficult when you want to be the entrepreneur that you want to be. And so the first thing I want you to write down is CAC. CAC is a strategy that I utilized, that I created, but it really is, to me, Just basic common sense. You need to have content around your content. Meaning that if there is something in particular that you are trying to sell right now, that you want to profit from right now, right? A product, a service, digital, physical, whatever. In order for you to strategically sell that piece of content, you need to create content around it. That's gonna attract people to you and to what you have so that they find value in what you do. So CAC, content around your content, Um, which is why I had at the time done, done or did, forgive me, my grammar sucks sometimes. Um, At the time I did that web class and I actually did a series of web classes over the uh, 14 days. I did a lot of teaching, (laughs) right? Maybe for you it's live stream, maybe it's webinars, maybe it's conference calls, but maybe whatever it is, there, there are things that, yes, you should be doing, but you don't have to do it every single day. And that's where people get it twisted. They get exhausted and they don't do anything because they feel like they have to do everything all the time. So they end up doing nothing most of the time, just kind of trolling and watching. <laughs> I shouldn't say trolling because trolls say bad things, but lurking, quietly lurking in the background, watching everybody else do stuff and feeling like they're not doing anything. And so folks were like, okay, you're quiet right now. You're an act inactive, but in actuality, I was very active just in different ways, in magically quiet ways. And so the first thing I did was, and you can take a look at this, sistersense.com forward slash 15. I decided to share my web class uh, and you can find it there absolutely free um, because it was an opportunity for me to do CAC, right? Number one, I already created a web class around my content. Um, And number two, I wanted to now create something that was going to help more people. See, the creation process doesn't mean you always have to create new content. Sometimes it means you have to create new ways to get new eyes on your best old content, See, sometimes either folks feel like they're overwhelmed because they have to be on on social media online all the time, which is not true, or folks are overwhelmed because they feel like they have to create content all the time, which is not true, especially for those of you who struggle with either creating content or balancing life. If you know you work nine to five to, you know, for somebody else, and then you come home and work five to nine in the morning for yourself, it's hard to find the time which is why you've got to strategically create CAC content around your content. So um, I said, you know what? It's been a couple of months, but that session was really great. And a few people were actually asking me, hey, LaShonda, where, where is that? You know, can I see that again? And then, of course, there are people who are new to me that never heard about it and saw it before. So sissesense.com forward slash 15 was born um, so that folks could go over and take a look, right? Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram at sissesense. Um, I also posted it there, you know, 15, 15 things messing with your money. If you want to fix your funds, go to sissesense.com forward slash 15. C-A-C. Creation. Be active about, be proactive about creating. Sometimes, yeah, whether you want to or not, you have to hit the live button, but you don't have to be live all the time. And, you know, it's funny because um, it's, it's, it's so interesting. I had one young lady, she left a comment and she was like, you know, 
Lashana, you brought that serious, serious fire fire. And somebody else emailed me and they were like, OMG, I'm watching Fix Your Funds right now. Um, and then one of my clients, like late night, <laughs> she sent me a message and she was like, listen, I am about to fall out of my dang chair. I'm watching this and oh my goodness, OMG seems to be a word. <laughs> around this particular training. Um, and I don't know if it's one of my best ones. I, maybe it is. I mean, it really was a really powerful session that I did. Um, and I'm excited about the fact that I get to breathe new life into it and share it with new people, right? So yes, strategically use social media, create content around your content, and then give people the opportunity to go and see what you've created. Again, creation doesn't always mean new material. Sometimes that simply means getting new eyes on your best old content. Number one, that was 15. I want you, as I'm sharing these numbers with you, to think about some numbers for yourself. 30. 30. So it just happens to be, uh, let's see, holiday season, I guess. You know, we're just coming off of um, a fabulous holiday weekend, uh, three-day weekend. And for my nine-to-five entrepreneurs, having that Monday, that extra day to play and work and do what they needed to do was fabulous. <laughs> And even though I work at home, um, I have to say that Extra Monday was fabulous for me, too, because it gave me the opportunity to say, you know what, um, today is a holiday. I'm not working on everybody else's stuff. You know, everybody else's stuff can wait till Tuesday. I'm going to do me today. <laughs> um, and so during that three-day period, um, one of the things that I actually decided to do was 3017. 3017. Um, is a code. I said, you know what? Go to my shop, shop.sissensense.com, and you can get anything that you want because everything is 30% off for the next couple of days. As a matter of fact, as I'm recording this particular audio for you, uh, today is actually the last day. So <laughs> I don't know when you hear this audio, but you might say, well, ooh, girl, let me, let me try that code, see if it works. <laughs> Um, but you know, I created, you know, the 3017 code, um, and I sent it out and said to my, you know, my list, I sent to my followers and my clients, I said, listen, use 3017 in the shop, get whatever you want, uh, for the next couple of days, it's there for you. Okay. I share that this with you for two reasons. Number one, everything that you do, there has to be a reason behind it. That's clear and intentional. There has to be a reason behind it that's clear and intentional. Here's the kicker. Sometimes, and maybe you, maybe you created an opt-in offer because you were told that that's what you needed to do. Maybe you went on live stream today because you were told that that's what you needed to do. Maybe you decided to write a blog today because you were told that that's what you needed to do, but you didn't understand why you were doing that thing. So you are working really hard and you are creating some things that are supposed to be fitting in these nice little boxes that everybody's telling you will do that, but you don't know why. And your reasons aren't strong enough, which is actually seeping into the content that you create because you're not creating strong enough content. You see, everything that you create, you have to be clear about why you are creating it so that the power of it can come through. So, for example, I said to you, I did 15 things messing with your money. Um, and, and, and I'll tell you why I did that particular web class, because um, I created content around my content. I was talking about different things that women entrepreneurs struggle with when it comes to sales, because I teach women entrepreneurs how to sell online. And I realized that the word sell, sales, selling, any variation you want on it, it's a hard word for a lot of women entrepreneurs to, to swallow because a lot of women entrepreneurs hate to sell, point blank, period, <laughs> right? For, and so I said, you know what? Um, I've got women entrepreneurs in my circle. They're highly driven. They're success seekers. They've been trying one, two, three, four, five, six months or even years to get this ish off the ground. They're looking to make money. Where is the problem? What's happening with the business or with the sales or with the people they're trying to sell to? What's blocking the money they're trying to make? 
Now, because I make money, I'm in a position to look at it from the perspective of, okay, well, this is what I'm doing, this is what I did, and this is what's missing. So I said I identified 15 things messing with their money. Why? Because I really, I've been doing this for 17 plus years, so I really understand the mistakes people make, the hurdles they make, the fears they have, the obstacles, the frustrations, all of that as a woman entrepreneur, as a sister girl, as a mommypreneur, as an infopreneur. <laughs> As a city girl, I mean, I identify with my clients on multiple levels, right? Um, but in understanding this, I had a strong understanding of what my clients were struggling with, what my listeners and subscribers wanted, and so I created that web class, CAC, Content Around Content, right? You've got to understand what your people are looking for, what your potential customers are looking for, what your tribe needs, and not just create meh reports for your opt-in offers or uh, I got on live stream and did a generic training because everybody else seems to be doing these generic name trainings. You really got to bring it because if you actually want to help people and then in the process of helping people, whether it be through your web class or your call or your webinar or whatever it is that you're trying to do, it's got to hit people. It's got to resonate. It's got to be em empathic, empathetic. How to <laughs> you got to empathize. However, you 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 need to say that phrase. It's really got to empathize, relate, resonate with your clients, and you can't do that unless you really understand why. That's why reasoning number one. Why reasoning number two is giving people a reason to work with you. See, number one, in me really breaking down 15 things messing with your money, honey, folks go, listen, she ain't playing. She get me. <laughs> you got me. You get me. I'm ready to work with you. This is how this social entrepreneur attracts attention and makes noise even when I'm quiet. Number one, strategically making the most of the content that I've created, creating content around my content. But number two, giving people a reason why they should try and maybe in some cases buy the things that I share and teach. When you create your content, it's got to be powerful to somebody. It doesn't have to be powerful to everybody, but somebody has to feel like you're hitting the right hits. You're making the right connections. Give them a reason. I gave them 15, 15 things messing with your money. That's number one. Number two, give them a reason. I said, in this conversation, the next number, the focus is 30. I decided to do, um, you know, 30% off everything in my store um, over at shop.sissensense.com. I don't know if you can still use it. You could try it. Bless God. See if it works. 3017. Point being, I did that because it was the holiday weekend and, and other people were doing promotions. And that's because as entrepreneurs and business owners, you do promotions during the holidays, right? There are some people who do discounts a day. They discount the day away because they are praying for profits and begging for business. <laughs> now, here's the deal. I am mad at you, right? Because discounts work. Big companies, small companies, Fortune 500 companies, bootstrap entrepreneurs, we all use discount codes. The point is, you have to use them strategically. Whenever you use them, baby girl, you got to give people a reason to as to why they should buy. And so my reason was, okay, well, I'm doing this because number one, it's the holiday seasons. And so here, get 30% off of everything. Uh, and number two, um, I'm celebrating the year, right? You know, we're, we're about to wrap up the third quarter and dive into the fourth one. I, it's celebration time. I want to make sure that you are where you need to be to get back on track. So get everything from me, 30% off. Use the code 3017 over on my shop page, which is shop dot sistersense.com my e-courses my workbooks my video trainings all that good stuff all of it give people a reason and you've got to make sure that number one outside of when you create content it's strong and powerful and resonates enough that you're giving them a reason to work with you number two when you create content and create discounts and you're like hey go get my stuff for like 75 percent off why you deep discounting it isn't necessarily going to give me a reason to buy if you're not clear on why you're giving me this discount, right? And it could just be as simple as, well, I'm giving you this discount because it's the holiday. So here, take advantage of that. Give people a reason. That's important. 
also give people deadlines. What's great about holidays is you have the opportunity to say, listen, it's 30% off, but it's only for one, two, three, four, five days. And then once we hit that last day, we're done. <laughs> One of the things that I love to do strategically um, is to make sure that I remember to remind my community, remind my list that number one, not only did I give you a promotion, number two, it's ending. Hey, last call. <laughs> Side note, I do have a training. It's called um, the Simple System to Sales, S-I-M-P-L-E. Simple is a system that I created. It simply means this. You want to simplify the process by selecting item, market, promote, link, engage. Literally, those words spell out the word simple. Select item, market, promote, link, engage. Rather than trying to do everything and find yourself doing nothing, you want to strategically promote one item, market, promote, link, engage people around that one item consistently over an extended period of time so that you can effectively sell. I created the system because a lot of my type A entrepreneurs make selling really, really hard on themselves. And then they, as entrepreneurs, they self-abuse themselves mentally by feeling like, you know what, you're not where you need to be. You're not making enough money. You're not doing a thing. It's not working for you. How come it's working for everybody else? That self-abuse, it creates a vicious cycle, which is why a lot of entrepreneurs become depressed, Right. Outwardly, whether you're, you know, whether you're a social introvert or not, outwardly showing the people your best face, but internally really just dogging yourself, right? So to be effective, to be better, to be more clear and intentional, I created this simple system because it's the system that I use um, over at sisasense.com forward slash simple. I share that with you because... In that particular training, I teach some of the things I'm telling you now. You know, there are certain things that you need to do to strategically sell, give people a reason, and give them deadlines, right? So like I said, you know, bless God, if you could magically use that code 3017 and it works for you today, yay, I don't know when you're going to listen to this message. <laughs> but the point being that there is an exp expiration date on it because opportunities expire. And if there are people in your circle who are proactively listening to you, learning from you, finding value in what you do, say, and sell, you want to make sure that when you are giving promotions, you are giving them clear reasons behind why you do a promotion, especially if it's a discounted promotion. And then you're giving deadlines because people will either, number one, they'll sit on their hands or they'll go and check it out and then go, oh, I'll do it later, right? Um, and, and for whatever reason or not, you know, people procrastinate. So those are the kind of incentives that you, you utilize to bring that fire, um, and get people excited about taking action now versus later, right? Something that you have to keep in mind. And, and here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. The reason why I shared this particular number is because folks said to me, you know, girl, you quiet. What's going on? You all right? You okay? I'm not quiet. <laughs> Sometimes you have to let your actions make the kind of noise that helps you make money and attract attention. So while socially, maybe it seemed like I was a little quiet, strategically in my inbox, I was sending out messages to my tribe and making money, right? And so that's something that you have to have outside of a social platform and a social following and a social voice. You've got to have a list of people who not are just on your list to get free stuff, but a, a list of buyers, a list of people who want to invest in everything that you put out there and they consistently work with you. Not just a list of subscribers, because folks are always like, I'm going to tell you how to build your list, build your list, build your list. It doesn't mean a can of beans if you've got a big list or a small list with a bunch of people who only want free stuff for you. That list ain't worth a can of beans. You need a list of subscribers, but more importantly, you need a list of buyers. So socially, I was in a position to be quiet to everybody else, but I was making money in the back end on the list side, you know, on the, the backhand side, <laughs> the backhand side, making some revenue, right? So outside of hoping to attract new people 
right? So for example, um, one of the struggles that I see with clients sometimes is this. Do you have to live stream? Should you live stream? Should you do video? Absolutely. I love these strategies, right? And I consistently use them periodically, um, usually for maybe a, anywhere between a 14 to 30 day period, you'll see me do some sort of live stream interaction with my community. But again, I'm a social introvert, so you won't see me do this every day. And again, I'm a busy entrepreneur, so unfortunately, I don't have the time to do that stuff all the day. Some of you guys are busy entrepreneurs. Some of you guys have nine to fives. You can't do that stuff all the time. It's just impossible. But some people, they've integrated that into their daily and more power to them. If that's you, yay, but that's not me. So you've got to find strategies that are alternatives to the things that everybody else seems to be doing. You got to figure out what you can do that's going to work for you. That's number one. Uh, And number two, I'll, again, like I said, I see sometimes clients, they go on these platforms and they hope that they can do one web class or one live stream or one conference call. And, and they've seen other gurus do this thing where they, they teach and then they sell at the ending and then bam, they make all this money. And they're like, how come I keep trying to do that? And that shit ain't working for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I, I shouldn't laugh because I've been there. I know what it's like. Again, I've been doing this for 17 years, so I've made more than my share for, share of mistakes. You know, but real talk, sometimes you try that stuff and you like, how come it don't work? Because guess what? Some of those people coming on, maybe seeing you for the first time, maybe popping in out of curiosity, whatever the reason may be, that one-off live session isn't necessarily going to provide you with an influx of income immediately. That's number one, because you got to put in the work and you also have to put in the time. Number two, you don't go on somebody live stream today and automatically you just buy something from them all the time. It doesn't necessarily work that way. So you've got to find another way to connect with people and connect with them on multiple occasions, which I'll talk about in in a bit. Number three, when you do something online, there's no guarantee that the person who saw what you did last week is going to be the same person or people who see it this week, which is why you've got to use different avenues of creating conversations with your tribe. you got to have a list. You cannot be completely or wholly or um, solely dependent upon social media. Keeping in mind some of the times when you see people close out and make crazy conversions, these are people who have 100,000, 200,000, half a million, 1 million, 2 million followers. And so the probability that they will make a lot of sales with those numbers is great. Then you got 15 people on your live stream. Like, how come nobody ain't buy? Come on now. (laughs) Maybe one of those two people will buy, but I guarantee you the people who do buy more than likely are people who've been following you for a while. And so it wasn't just that one session, but a series of experiences with you that made sense for them. You've got to have your own list. 17. 17. So I said to my list, I said, you know what? What are the things I am going to do is I am going to share my mastermind with you. I have a mastermind group. It's called the Firestarter Circle. And every month I have a live mastermind call and a live webinar around one particular topic, right? So I said, you know what? I am going to celebrate 2017. This is a holiday weekend. We're almost about to wrap up the third quarter. Listen, my mastermind, we're going to focus on some fun things. We just did a Canva challenge. We're about to do an an audio-based podcast series style challenge. And what I'm going to do is let you get inside the mastermind for $17, right? So ladies in my circle were like, what? Because by the way, my mastermind is $47 a month, right? Um, And I've never before done um, this kind of a discount to give people an opportunity to do the mastermind at $17. The lowest I've done for new members as a promotion has been $27, right? So I said, you know what? Again, it's the holiday weekend. Um, I'm I'm doing the 30 for uh, 30% off off of everything. And then for the 
mastermind the fire starter circle i will give you the opportunity to hang with us for 30 days for 17 bucks so you can participate and learn how to promote your business online and folks jumped on that right they jumped on that here's the thing okay um that particular opportunity number one like i said was sent out to people who were on a specific list, not all my lists, but a specific list that I have. That was number one, right? So I knew who to send it to. Number two, if you want to build your list, specifically your list of, let's say, coaching clients or paying customers, you have to not only give people a reason, right? Uh, Discounts, great incentives, right? But you also have to focus on giving them a specific inside agenda that's going to motivate them to sign up. A specific inside agenda. Okay, so if you are a coach or you're looking to get mentors and build your your, your buyer list that way, okay, so I want you to hold one ear and listen real close. <laughs> Okay, because when I talked about the importance of not just being on social media, but building your email list, not just of subscribers, but actual buyers. Number two, I'm talking about building your coaching client list, right? A lot of times coaches will say, well, join my mastermind or join my coaching program, join my da 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 da. And they've got this fabulous picture and they've got these fabulous professionally done videos and all this fabulous, right? But it's too general. I'm going to show you how to change your life or I'm going to show you how to change your business or I'm going to, it's so general that sometimes people will look at it and unless they're like one of your, again, mega super, I love you fans, people don't sign up to what you've got to offer because what you've got to offer isn't really resonating with them. Again, side note, if you really want to resonate and connect strongly with your clients, one of the things I teach is how to do that inside the Simplify, Serve, and Sell Challenge, right? Over at sissesense.com forward slash simple. In this case, one of the ways that I am able to effectively attract new clients to my mastermind is by providing specifics as to what we're talking about inside the mastermind on a consistent basis. So let's go back a couple of months. A couple of months, I did a video marketing challenge and I shared that again with my private list, one of several, right? Um, And people said, oh my goodness, I wanna do video. They opted in, they became members, not just for that month, but quite a few have stayed on with me and they're still working with me, right? Um, Then the next month I did the Canva challenge, right? Just actually finished that, the Canva challenge. Um, And then people signed up because the people who signed up, They signed up because they wanted to do Canva graphics or they wanted to do video marketing and now we're focused on audio and how to really promote your business for the final quarter of the year. My focus is promote, 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 how to build your list and grow your business so people are opting in and becoming a part of my Firestarter circle because I'm specific about the topics that we talk about and the things that I teach. Sometimes people say, well, you know, join my mastermind and every week or every month, I'm going to introduce you to experts in my circle so that you have the right people that you need. That sounds great, but that doesn't resonate. See, when I send out a message to a person who's struggling with video and I'm like, listen, we're going to do video for a month. I'm going to show you how I knock out these videos. And I created a hundred videos in the challenge, by the way, folks go, what? (laughs) Okay, you need to help me with my video. When I say, okay, well, we're going to do a graphics challenge. I'm going to show you how to create your media kit, your work with me, God. I'm going to show you how to create graphics for your offers, for your social media platforms. People go, oh my God, I hate Canva, but I love you and I need to know how to make Canva work for my business. So yes, LaShonda, where do I sign up? How do I get in? I'm ready to go on, right? So now this month we're working on audio and for the next three months we're working on promote, 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 how to grow your list and your following online, how to actually make the most of the things that you're selling and strategically sell because the final quarter of the year is entrepreneur gold season. It's the time that you need to be intentional and strategic in everything that you do because that's when you can bring in them four and five and six figure months without blinking when you know how to do it the right way. So promote, 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 promote. Um, really big about that. And that's what I'm talking about in my mastermind. I am always sharing with my communities, right? Sometimes loud and proud socially, but sometimes quiet, but really strategically. And that's how I build my 
list of coaching clients and mentees. That's one of the smartest things that I do. And I'm giving this to you absolutely free. <laughs> Because I ain't worried about it. Somebody's always going to find a way to find me and work with me. <laughs> I'm not worried about giving you strategies for free. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, folks are always going to work with me. Um, and I don't I don't feel like I need to hide my best information um, and kind of like, you know, you got to pay me for this. Because trust and believe there is so much more to me than this. <laughs> this is just scratching the surface. Um, and I'm honestly going to be honest with you at the end of the day, what I've realized in my many years of experience is even when you can provide and drop some gems at the feet of the people you wish to help, sometimes they need even more. Sometimes clients need to not only hear me say this once, but hear me say it to them every single day, which is why they come and work with me. Sometimes clients need to not even hear me say this, but get on the phone with me privately so I can say, this is how you apply this statement to your business. Because knowing something and how it works and applying it to your business sometimes is two different things, right? Um, so again, like I said, I want you to be able to Really take of these numbers what you will, finding smart ways to work these numbers into what you do. And for me, 17, right? Um, Sistersense.com forward slash mastermind 17. That's where it is in case you were like, ooh, let me take a look, see what that looks like. Sistersense.com forward slash mastermind 17. The opportunity to uh, work with me and the amazing ladies in my Firestarter Circle for 30 days for 17 bucks right? How crazy is that? Um, so that you can work on what we're working on now, but also get access to the last thing that we did, which was the Canva challenge in this case. Um, so you get replays to the last thing that we did, plus the opportunity to work on what we're working on now. Um, when I specifically share exactly what I'm doing and not just hope and pray that my webpage and my pretty picture is going to get people in the fire starter circle, I turn heads and make money. That's just the honest to goodness truth. At the end of the day, it's not going to get everybody, but I'm not here to get everybody. I'm here to work with the right bodies. And for the person who goes, I need you right now, they go and sign up. That is the point. That's the point. That's the magic in how this works. Okay. So here's the deal. Truth be told, there are folks who have masterminds. And again, they say to myself, um, if I make it seem as though I'm giving them a thousand things they'll buy. Sometimes they don't. If I make it seem as though I'm giving them a whole bunch of stuff for like five bucks, they'll buy. Sometimes they don't. And then when you end up with three people who bought for five bucks, you salty is all get out because you got all this work to do and all you getting is $15, <laughs> right? Sometimes folks don't even buy and you're like, what? come on, I put everything I got into this. Why are they not getting this? Because sometimes you're too general. And you're not consistently specific. When I say consistently specific, I mean, you just got, you know, you got the mastermind page up and sitting there, you working and praying and hoping that people go and buy. Sometimes you got to let people know what you're working on so they get excited to try. That's number one. Number two, you are focused on the wrong you. You are focused on the wrong you. And when I say that, I mean this. Your page, your product, your stuff is all about you. Your image, your content, it's all about you. How great your mastermind is. How much you offer. How many experts you have. It's all about you. And when it comes to sales, one of the trigger words is you, but not Y-O-U, you, you. Why owe you them? It's all about them. So in your content and conversations, when you talk about you, which shouldn't be you specifically, but them talking about what they need. So when I send out a message and say, hey, do you want to get better at video chat, uh, video marketing? And folks go, yes. I'm like, okay, well, here you go. I say, hey, do you want to boost your skills with Canva and work on your graphics? And not have to wait 15 days for a graphic designer and pay them $500 to do some stuff that you can do for yourself in an hour in Canva. Do you want to do that? And folks go, yes. Oh, my God, I want to do that. 
When I say, do you want to focus on promote, 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 and really make the most of the final quarter of the year, making sure that at the end of the year, whether it be the holiday season, Black Friday, you make the most money you could potentially make. Do you want to promote, 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 work with me over the course of the next 90 days inside of my mastermind? Are these things that you want? When I say that and I share that with my client base, people say yes. Right. And then on top of that, I give them a reason to sign up for not even the 47, but the 17. And I'm like, go to sisasense.com forward slash mastermind 17 and register. You're going to get 30 days with me. And then guess what? Some people go, yes, I can get it for 17. Bless God. I woke up this morning and I saw um, a few people registered and I thought, wow, how awesome is that? It's, it's such a great thing. I mean, some people, yeah, they're going to stay for 30 days and they're going to leave. But guess what? For every one person who does that, there are like five or 10 people who now are official. <laughs> they're like, I'm in it to win it. And I'm staying with you. And we're going to ride out and work this out. And I'm going to make sense of making money online. This is a sense style. That is what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Strategically getting better at sales. Trust me, I was not a natural seller. And the fact that I'm, I titled this, how this social introvert, this being me, how this social introvert quietly uses action and not voice to make money, to make sales and attract attention. This should resonate because you don't always have to be on online to make money offline. I have the Simplify Serve and Sell Challenge. I basically break down a lot of the sales strategies that I talk about in that. Um, but these are the things that I've been working on quietly. 47. That's another one. 47. So, at least two to four times a year, I like to create what I like to call big, beautiful bundles. Big, beautiful bundles. There are so many things that you know as a consumer get you to buy that you have to learn how to integrate into your business as a seller. Um, one of those things is giving people more bang for their buck, which is why for as many years as I can, I have been creating these awesome bundles. Again, I don't do bundles every day, um, but I will strategically create big, beautiful bundles at least two to four times a year and then provide them to my community. Right. Uh, so the most recent one is 47 power moves over at sisasense.com forward slash four seven power moves. <laughs> sisasense.com forward slash 47 power moves is basically this amazing series. It's the ultimate guide for women entrepreneurs looking to make their next best power move. I have what I call my back to business virtual series. Every October, I have a conference. I get ma amazing women entrepreneurs together. We talk about revenue, sales, mindset, wealth, you name it. We talk about it. Technology, blogging, six figures, starting off, being afraid. You name it, we talk about it. Because <laughs> in my circle, my power circle, I work with sisters who are about it, right? Um, you know, it's funny. I was talking to... Um, a client and I was talking about one of my power circle experts and how one day she woke up and said, I'm gonna make 10k today. And then I talked about what she did to make that 10k today in the process of that was extra money on top of the money she had already made. And I was like, see, this is boss moves right here. This is power moves right here. Uh, and she happens to be one of the ladies in the circle. Uh, and so this year I said, you know what, this is actually going to be the seventh year I am doing my back to business annual series. The conference is in October and um, I am a few weeks shy of that. So I said, you know what, I'm going to kick things off with this big, beautiful bundle, 47 videos from 36 of the Power Circle experts, women entrepreneurs passionate about seeing you live your passion. Folks were like, what? This is hot. This is fire. This is boss. I love this. Can you believe this? Wow. 47. 
I share this with you for several reasons. Number one, customers like great deals and great bundles to boot. So if you can combine the two, kudos to you. <laughs> Again, at least two to four times a year, I strategically like to create big, beautiful bundles. And I have clients in my circle who they just kind of wait out until they get a bundle from me. Shh, you don't do that. <laughs> But I got folks who wait out until they do that, right? Hey, no no, no shame in their game, more power to them, right? Uh, that's number one. Uh, number two, it's about options. If you take a look at it, um, it's actually uh, kind of like, I, I do a lot of promotions on a staggered start. And when I say that, I mean right now, as I'm sharing this message with you, I don't know what it's gonna be like if you choose to go there and you see it when you get there, but right now, um, launching 47 Power Moves, it's $37 for the 47 videos, right? Um, but it's actually going to go up to 97 So I always staggered start my pricing. That's number one. Number two, I always give people options. So um, like I said, back to business, my virtual conference that I do every year, this is going to be year seven. It's happening um, in a couple of weeks. And I usually just kind of strategically launch it just before. Um, but when I say launch, I mean go live socially just before. Uh, but I quietly, for three months prior to, talk about it with my private circle, right? Because so it's like, you know, I do things in private and then I'm like, bam, I bring it out in the social community. Uh, and usually when I wait the last couple of weeks to do that, um, I've got my speakers behind me so that we're simultaneously promoting together, right? As a group versus me just kind of promoting by myself. That's a whole other strategy, but... I'm just kind of dropping some knowledge on you there. Like I said, point one was customers love great deals and great bundles. Point two was options, right? Um, so that for me, what I do is number one, staggered start. So you have the option to get it now for 37 versus sleep on it and then get it for 97 later. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, and number two, you have the option to get it now at 37, just the, the guide with all of these amazing trainings on different things about money and marketing and sales and all that stuff, right? Um, or get the bigger bundle, right? Um, the bigger bundle is the guide itself plus early registration for the Back to Business Live Virtual Conference plus access to the replays for the Back to Business virtual conference because one of the things that I like to do is give replays. Sometimes there, there are you know, people who want to be there live but just can't be, right? So the, the Power Moves 47 Guide series, the Back to Business live seat to participate in the virtual series live. It's a conference. Normally I have anywhere between eight to 12 speakers virtually. Um, and then the replays to that plus access to my mastermind for 30 days and I put that in a big beautiful bundle for $97 and I'm going to tell you right now that bundle I think is if I itemize everything somewhere between two to three hundred dollars but I put it in there for 97 and ladies have opted in to not just get the guide at 37 but get the big beautiful bundle at 97 right you want to give options to your client base you want to give options okay and, and here's, the, here's the, the kicker. Here's the biggest thing of it all. There are entrepreneurs out there, women entrepreneurs that I've worked with who have gone through so much rejection, so much frustration around putting stuff out there and it not selling, around deep discounting to the point where they're like, listen, I'm giving this to you for $1. You still telling me you can't afford it? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, right? So that they're, 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 they're not only scarred, but they are so traumatized that everything they put out there is not even low price point, but super low price point because they're afraid nobody's going to buy at a higher price point. Now, I'm the LPP queen. One of the things I teach is how to strategically create digital content that is low price point products. I call that LPP, low price point, right? Um, and yes, I love to do that. But see, here's the deal. That's strategy. That's not emotional mindset scarring there's a big difference let me explain again if you're creating stuff and everything that you create you're trying to slash the price all the time to get them to buy and they're not buying number one because you haven't given them a reason they're not buying number two because you're not consistently talking to the right people they're not buying number three because 
you are only trying to promote to one audience. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes people don't buy because they're like, this is too cheap. It's not going to be valuable to me because it's too cheap. So that's why reasons are important, number one. Number two, not everybody around you is broke, bae. (laughs) That's a reality that hit me a long time ago, but it was a valuable reality to hit because there are people who are going to opt in at the low price point and there are people who are going to opt in at the high price point. Give your customers options. So some people, they go to scissorsense.com forward slash 47 power moves and um, they are excited about it and they just sign up and they get the guide. And I'm like, yeah, I'm excited for them, right? Some great content. Then there are people who they go there and they're like, what? I'm going to get the virtual and the guide and 30 days. And they take the 97. They're in a position to take the 97. And they want the 97 and they take it. But guess what? If I only had one option, number one, I would alienate people who could afford more. Number two, I would reduce my bank from me getting more. And number three, I wouldn't be in a position to diversify my money (laughs) by diversifying my price points. More often than not, I'll give people at least two options at most three options, good, better, best. At the end of the day, you at least want to give them the option of getting the best that you have, the good, you know, starting point, or something better. Options, good, better, best. Some of the things that I talk about in the sales system, right? So you sitting there and you're like, okay, well, I can't, I can't put no other price point on it but this because they ain't even trying to buy this. I don't know if you've ever heard about this weird phenomenon where when people are single, they find it so hard to attract people to them. And then the minute they get somebody, her body wants them. That's because there are not only just pheromones, (laughs) there's like this energy that you give off. And when you become strategic as a seller and as and when you really not even just become strategic as a seller, but when you really get clear about your intention and your value and the fact that you're not here for everybody, you're here for the right bodies, you don't try to overstress to impress. You don't try to overstress yourself by either underpricing or overperforming to impress people because some of that stuff won't work. If you fundamentally don't work, I'm going to be honest with you. People can sniff that out even when you don't think they can. You might drop a word. You might say something. They might see something in your eyes that hints to them the desperation is there. And it doesn't work out the way you want it to work out. And so even in something as simple as you, everything, trying to struggle to figure out the right price when all you really had to do to make it nice was to give people options, sometimes that's all you needed to do to better sell your product and better sell you. You like how I dropped them rhymes in there, right? You know, LH, I'm a Gemini, by the way. Lauren Hill, we both got the same initials. (laughs) She also is a Gemini. I'm sorry that she doesn't show up to her concerts, but I show up on my stream. So we not the same person, okay? But we do have the same initials. We are both Geminis and we still kind of fly when we drop them look, them notes. <laughs> I could be silly too. <laughs> I know I, drop, I come with the information, but I could drop the knowledge and the humor too to make sure that you're you're listening to me and I don't get too heavy. And I do keep it fun. And light, because you have to find the light and the love in what you do so it works better for you. Sometimes you have to be quiet so you can make some noise. So here's a hidden number. I've given you some numbers. I said to you uh, 15, 30, 17, and 47. I've explained those numbers to you 
in great detail. In the last 147, I talked about the importance of beautiful bundles. I talked about the importance of really giving people great deals and great bundles, giving them options. And in those options, you're attracting more than one type of person. Some people can afford good, some others better, some others best. I also talked about, you know, just this strategic sales strategy, which is upsells, right? So there's, you know, people come in with the intent of just getting that one thing. All of a sudden they walk away with two, three, four more things because you've given them options that upsell into larger packages, right? Um, The last number I'm going to share with you, I didn't even put here, but it's zero. It's zero. It's my like bonus aha for you today, the number zero. So, I also, in the last couple of weeks, launched a free mini course. It's called Start Here, Get Clear, Move Forward. And you can find the free mini course over at scissorsense.com forward slash free course. Start Here, Get Clear, Move Forward is an opportunity for me to do a few things. Number one, to answer a big small business question that I get all the time, which is LaShonda, where do I start? And I'm going to tell you, that's a hard question to ask for a lot of people because not everybody is at the same place. (laughs) Just keeping it real. Um, So sometimes, you know, I found myself just straight ignoring the question because I didn't even know what the hell to say. But I strategically worked on it to get to a point where today I could say, start here, get clear, move forward. I created the e-course and it's a free course over at citizens.com forward slash free course, no spaces, one word. Zero. Zero because it's free. Costs absolutely nothing to sign up but it's priceless and it means everything to the people who experience it and find value and find themselves within it. One of the the young ladies who, who participated in my free mini course, she emailed me, right? And she said, LaShonda, everything that you have said to me in the last two days is basically replaying my story. It kind of reminds me of Lauryn Hill, you know, that song, Killing Me Softly with his words, you know, everything that he was saying was just basically my story. Everything that I'm saying, she felt like was her story. She said, you know what? I realized that over the last few months, I've been beating myself up mentally because I'm not where I want to be. And in listening to you and understanding who I am and where I am in my business right now, I feel like I'm in a position to give myself permission to grow and to apologize to myself for being hard on myself for not being where I thought I should be. This is where I am, and I'm going to embrace where I am right now. Wow. For me, that, that, that's powerful. Being able to be in a space where I create things and share my knowledge. And I used to be that kind of girl that was all tech, <laughs> all type, all tech. Do this blog thing. Do this tool thing, right? Use this web tool, do this blog strategy, all tech talk. One day I worked with a client and she said to me, LaShonda, you know what? One of my passions is doing hard work. And and I'm going to be honest with you. When she said that to me, that hit me because surprisingly, I find myself helping people do hard work, doing the work behind the, but before the work, as she put it, one of my clients, (laughs) you know, I find myself doing just that, doing hard work. The helping people do the work before they actually do the work of intentionally selling online because some people are emotionally broken. And again, I said to you, there are some people who they can't pay somebody to be with them. And then all of a sudden, when they finally with somebody, everybody want to be with them because their energy has changed. They're no longer broken. Right? That comes off, that comes across. And so to some degree, if I can help people fix some of the internal things, do some of the work before the actual work of building a business online, in addition to saying, use this tool, try this sales strategy. Wow, man, that is beyond, beyond purpose for me. That is heartfelt. That is real. And literally free. Freeing and free. Zero. The number zero. I share this with you because number one, obviously, as you know, creating freebies, right, is a marketing strategy. 
It's important. You should strategically create freebies. I try to create at least one every quarter, something new. Don't just have that one and think that that one is going to drive traffic to you forever. <laughs> you got to keep it fresh. Again, folks think I'm quiet. I'm just knocking all this stuff out in the back background. Number And never mind you, I'm a web designer, by the way. I'm a web designer, webdesign.citizens.com. I have a company called Pretty Professional Website so that even on a shoestring budget, I can help my clients to create pretty professional sites. I'm working on client websites. I'm working on client websites. I have a 10-year-old son. I'm being mommy. He just had strep throat. <laughs> and whatever bugs they throw at him at school, he comes home and throws them at me. I am a mommy. I have mommy duties. I have hubby duties, right? I got to make sure my hubby is happy, right? I'm a mommy. I'm a human. I got to make sure I'm happy. I have to de-stress. So I'm, I'm knocking out all this stuff, right? But folks think I'm quiet because I'm not on live stream every day. I ain't tweeting every day. <laughs> I ain't all up in your face every day. But I am strategically doing things in the background. Sometimes you have to be quiet so you can make the kind of noise that makes your business grow. Zero, free course, free course opportunity to build lists. And yes, it's important to create freebies, but your freebies can't be meh. <laughs> and I love that. Meh. One of my favorite ladies, women entrepreneurs, entrepreneurial crushes is Marie Forleo. Uh, and sometimes I watch her, her business videos on YouTube and she'll go, meh. <laughs> And I'm going to be honest with you, as a web designer, sometimes people give me opt-ins and they're like, Lashana, put this up on my website so I can help me build my list. And I look at the opt-in and I'm like, meh. I'm like, okay, I'm going to put it up. I ain't going to tell you what I think because you ain't paying me for that. <laughs> nah, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. When I can, I will strategically, um, I will strategically provide recommendations on, you know, maybe you want to tweak this or maybe you want to not put up that photo or whatever. Um, but to be honest with you, sometimes people create opt-ins. Why? Because they've been told they need to create an opt-in to get people in. And they, it, it, sometimes people said, take like five months to send me one free opt-in. Like they, they, they pour their heart and soul into it and they struggling with it. Cause they're like, how to do, how the hell do I create the perfect opt-in? And then they send me some stuff that looks so generic so just like what everybody else said or not quite enough or I create entry level content. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes people just give you the obvious and you're just like, what is this? This is not going to convert. <laughs> this is not going to alert. Th this ain't doing a damn thing, but you just knowing that you put something up there. You just threw something up there. And to be honest with you, it's meh. You really have to take the time when you do CAC, which is content around your content. You really have to make the time. If you are going to create something for free, if you are going to teach, if you're going to be live online or quiet offline and strategically trying to reach people, your content can't be meh. It has to be wow. There's no M-E-H. It has to be W-O-W. Wow. And it may not wow everybody. Just let's be clear. It may not wow everybody. Sometimes y'all trying to create something and it's taking you so long to create it because you want it to be perfect and by perfect, it's going to wow everybody. It's not going to wow everybody. It's sometimes just enough to wow the right body. And sometimes it's just enough to put it out there because trust and believe you may not know, but there is somebody who is hearing you and may not today, but one day come to you and say, five years ago when you said this, that wowed me, but I wasn't ready. I know it's five years late, but hopefully I'm right on time. I'm ready for you now. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. I love that quote. People say that to me all the time. I heard you say this. I watched you do this. And man... I've been trying to just figure out how I'm going to start working with you. And then life, life fell off. I fell off. Da, 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 da. It's not about rushing to create meh just because this is what everybody's telling you to do. It's about creating a gift to the world 
that you really put your foot in that's going to help change lives, gift lives, evolve. Listen, I wanted to do a 15-minute audio message for you, and I think I'm well over an hour in because I am so committed to your win. I want you to win. I'm so committed to your win. And some of these things I shouldn't even be saying for free. (laughs) Trust and believe me. Because some folks are just going to take this and run with it. And they ain't even going to say LaShonda told them. (laughs) They're going to run with it and say, well, inspiration just hit me. Nah, boo. Sister Sense hit you with some reality. (laughs) With some real stuff. Check a real smart start strategy. That's what you got. But hey, you know what? I'm not here to get praise and popularity from everybody. I realize that what I get is is given to me divinely. So um, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is in that respect. Um, but you have to understand that zero is a powerful number. Um, I don't know about you, but back in the day as a kid, I used to watch Schoolhouse Rock. Um, and I actually got every single one of them multiplication number videos for my son when I was teaching him his numbers and multiplication. And that video on zero, one of my favorites is three is a magic number. You know what I'm talking about. I ain't even going to try to sing it because I am not Beyonce. But three is a magic number, one of my favorites, because three is really a magic number. But so is zero. And so if you really work at creating powerful opt-ins and not just throwing up stuff that you're just throwing it up for the sake of doing it, that's why you're not getting a, 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 a an influx onto your list. That's why it's just sitting there. That's number one. Number two, I created the free course. I gave my uh, my list. Well, not all of my list. I gave a, a, a portion of my list the opportunity to just go automatically into the course. And now I'm strategically sharing the course with others. I've started that process, right? Um, By the way, if you're curious about it, the Start Here, Get Clear, Move Forward experience, um, that free mini course is over at citizens.com forward slash free course. Free, F-R-E-E-C-O-R-U-S, right? So it's about strategically creating free content that matters to not just you, but for the people that you're creating it for. Don't just give them generic and entry level because you're like, well, if I just give them this, they're going to want Mm-mm, It really has to move people. God, it has to move them. Number two, focus on the things that you know people are asking for, right? Sometimes we know, but we don't want to give what we know because we're afraid we're going to give too much. I'm being honest with you. And I tell clients all the time when they ask me the question, LaShonda, well, how do you do free without giving it all the way? Okay, you tell people what to do. And then you sell how to do it. Tell the what, sell the how, period. That's what I do. Again, I can tell you exactly what to do if it still doesn't hit you or, or you still can't figure out how to connect them Lego pieces to make that ma- amazing creation, then okay, we need a clarity call. We need to talk one-on-one. I need to work with you individually or you need to find a person who speaks to you and work to them. Point being, at the end of the day, you have to not just create free for the sake of free. You've got to create something that means something to someone the right one you're looking to work with, your ideal client. You got to put your foot in free as much as you put your foot in the content that you're looking to sell. And hopefully the content that you are looking to sell and the free is both extremely valuable to the people you wish to serve. I hope and pray it is. One of my favorite things is telling my my clients and my scribe, my subscribers and people that, you know, when it comes to this thing called entrepreneurship and actually getting people to sell or rather actually getting people to buy from you, you have to give them an opportunity to try before they buy, which is why freebies is so important. But nobody's even going to touch your free fee with a 10 foot pole if it doesn't really resonate and help them create something powerful in their life. And it doesn't have to be a huge thing. It doesn't have to be earth shattering. My mini course series, I think each of the the things that I teach in the mini course, they're short, but they impact and they help. 
whether they directly help or I create a space to help other people learn how to help themselves in, in, in ways that are better, that are practical, that make sense for them. It's something, right? And sometimes the simplest things can be the most powerful things when you generally put your best in into it. Of course, last but not least, when it comes to zero is the rule of seven, the rule of seven. So I created this mini course experience. I had so much fun doing it. I love the comments and the feedback um, that I am getting from people who are starting the course and, and working with me on in so many different ways. One of the things I teach is the rule of seven. At the end of the day, when it comes to marketing, most people have to see your message at least seven times to take action. So, you know, when you put stuff out on social media, chances are it's going to go up in the feed very quickly, whether it's on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever, it's going to go up in the feed very quickly. So not everybody's going to see it, right? So remember I talked about 15, you want to make sure that you repurpose the best that you've created so that you can strategically continue to share it with new people, new eyes on your best old material. In this case, not everybody who actually saw what you put out there is going to take advantage of it. So you have to work on strategically creating opportunities for people to learn from you over an extended period of time. Whether it be a course, whether it be a funnel, whether it be some sort of sequence, ideally via email, right? That's the most common way for you to consistently connect with individuals on a one-on-one -on -one level, right? Some people choose to do consistently um, whether it be Snapchat or Instagram, consistent stories so that people can hear them consistently every single day and communicate with them on a one-on-one -on -one level. I'm a social introvert, right? So um, as sometimes I like to do pre-recordings versus live. Sometimes I like to do email or audio versus video. You got to find what works for you right now. You got to do something versus that, you know, you sitting there paralyzed because you feel like there's so many things you want to do. You just don't know how to do it. You got to find the things that work for you. So some of the ladies in my circle, they're excited about the fact that, you know, as, as I share this particular message with you right now, we're getting into the audio series this month for me and my mastermind. We're focused on audio because some folks honestly don't like video, right? You've got to figure out what works for you and you've got to understand the rule of seven. You've got to create these experiences, these sequences, these these. Uh, the technical term sales funnels, if you will, you have to create opportunities for you to, for people to not just hear it one time, but hear it over the course of several days in several different ways. And for some people, it will hit them and they'll say yes, whether it be immediately or on day seven or honestly on month seven. Sometimes people come back seven months later like, hey, you still got da 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 da. I saw it and I, you know, I wanted to get it, but so much stuff was happening in my life. See, you focused on the wrong you. So much is happening in your life. You thinking they not buying because something you missing. And sometimes it's not even about you. It's funny. I'm talking about zero and sales funnels. Uh, recently, I sent out a message, um, my new audio book. Oh my goodness. You have to take a look. Uh, my new audiobook is called Live the Dream, and uh, I created a sneak peek of it over at sissasense.com forward slash L, either, I can't remember the URL, it's either LTD or Live the Dream, one of those two, LTD or Live the Dream. Um, and so I gave out to, again, exclusively to my list. None of this, if not most of this is not social, not on my blog, not on my website, not on, on Facebook, on Instagram, none of it. Maybe in my Facebook book group, you might find two of these things or three of them. But for the most part, it's been my, my email list. I really have a close connection with the community there. Um, and one of the ladies said, oh my gosh, LaShonda, I love this. Because I said in that email, I said, listen, I don't know if I'm blowing up your inbox right now, but if I am, I apologize. I just could not help this. I really, really want you to see this. I'm so excited about the new audiobook. Like I tell you, I'm, I know I'm, it seems like I'm quite a quiet to the world, but I'm really creating the kind of actions that make a lot of noise behind the scenes. And so 
um, one of the ladies said, oh, no worries <laughs> about the emails because right now I'm so focused. I'm on my grind. I'm working on my sales funnels. Um, actually, you know, I, I can't take a look net right now, but I'm, I'm going to. I just wanted to check in with you. I always tell my ladies, check in, check in, let me know. And I'm like, girl, you need to go working on them sales funnels. You need to do that damn thing. Because like I said, sales funnels can work your business. Automation can work for you while you're working on other things. So I'm super proud of her for that. But I say that because I want you to be aware of the fact that sometimes if people are not taking action, it has nothing to do with you or the quality of your work. They're actively doing other things in their business or in their lives that you may not be aware of. As an entrepreneur, we have to that E, you know, that the entrepreneur starts with E. We have to not be so emotional as entrepreneurs that sometimes we get stuck or we get stopped or we get frustrated or we get furious with our following because we're like, they're not listening enough or taking enough action when the reality is that they've got a whole lot of other stuff going on. So rather than being emotional about what other people are not doing, you have to be proactive about focusing on what you're doing and being your best self, putting your best foot forward, creating your best business and strategically doing what you need to do to make the most amount of noise, even when you're quiet. The rule of seven. Sometimes it's not about you showing people that thing that one time, but strategically finding a smart way so that at least for several days, you can have several different ways in which you get them excited about that one thing. It's funny. Um, as I was ending my night last night, uh, I saw this, this infographic on Instagram and not an infographic, just a, just a quote graphic, I think. And it was a young lady and she said, goals, making money as I sleep. And I laughed. I laughed because, you know, I said to myself, wow, I make money as I sleep. So that ain't really ain't my goal right now. But <laughs> I, I can relate because my goal is making more money while I sleep. Right. <laughs> so it was cute. I, you know, I saved it or whatever. I liked it. Um, but you got to think about that for what are your goals, right? Are you, is your goal to make money while you sleep or is your goal to make more money while you sleep? Whatever the case may be, you again, you have to strategically and consistently work at reaching your goals. Right. I'm making up for being quiet right now. <laughs> I'm making up for all this quiet. I have been quiet, noticeably slow. I know I've been quiet, only because sometimes you have to be quiet so your business can grow. I've been making connections with new people. I've been making deeper connections with my people. I've been making offers and offering content that moves people to take action, either for themselves or to act on their own desire to work with me or learn from me. Technology is powerful. There's no mistaking that. Technology is powerful. And in so many ways, social media can be about popularity. But strategy, strategy for me is profit. So when you can quietly create a strategy using social media and technology, you can, even as a quiet entrepreneur, make noise, make money, and attract attention. I gotta be honest with you, one of the best things about being a social introvert is that I just simply am not a, a high heels and makeup kind of a girl. And knowing that I'm not about that social media world 24-7, I really had to sit down and figure out some smart ways for me to strategically market and stay in the loop without having to actually be live and online in that loop all the time, right? So I intentionally sought out alternative solutions to reach my goals. And in doing so, I'm able to not focus so much on reaching everybody, but the right bodies. And that is what helps me transform my business. This is how this social introvert, again, continues to make noise, make money, and attracts attention. 15, 30, 17, 47, 0.
not my lotto numbers, but hopefully I can combine them numbers into sales <laughs> and revenue. If I could put all of them together and see what four six figure number that comes up with, that would be awesome. I could put that in my bank account. Woo woo. <laughs> I'm messing with you, but listen, these are my numbers, right, for today, and hopefully these numbers have inspired you, maybe even got you excited about what you are going to work on and create for yourself. This is your girl, Sister Sense, a.k.a. LaShonda Henry. Flip that around. It's your girl, LaShonda Henry, a.k.a. Sister Sense. Sometimes my alter ego takes over me. LaShonda, a.k.a. Sister Sense, with your success session for today, your dose of daily direction. Until next time, continue powering through to your best you. Mwah.